Eric Jones Jr. acquired from Miami as a free agent. Hounding Curry on the relocate and Steph with the deep two. This brilliant offense. They're going to make noise in the West. Curry around Covington. Pass Nurkic. Lay it up and in. He's on him. You switch Covington onto him. Look at the moves. Counter. Back the other way. Through the legs. Nurkic gets there too late. McCollum picked up his second foul, so Gary Trent Jr. has checked in. Warriors stay with the same five starters. And Steph Curry oh. hitting the wing jumper. Oh, Curry, a little split. Point trip down. As they had the technical free throw in the three-point play. Curry right down the lane. How about that? Well, that is how you expose Cantor. High, high pick and roll. Looking for Steph. Good screen by Bazemore. Three on the way. Perfect. I'm Set the screen, move the ball, and get that kid the ball. And then Steph off a made three, reversing it up and in. Oh, Curry, what a first quarter. Getting downhill, you see Cantor there. He's like, great news. Cantor's on me. Let me get around him. Super easy. Crafty finishes. And his reaction to the foul that just happened. I'm on one. Wiseman saved the turnover. Steph cut back door. Little floater. <laughs> Steph Curry's got 23. Steph. He reloaded, went around McCollum, and made that three. Curry hiding behind Looney, weaving through traffic, down the lane, lefty finish. Steph is doing everything. There is a different energy to this man's game. Draymond three. Short. It's a pass it's to a pass. Steph. It's a pass. We'll call it the pass. Great the look. <laughs> the field goal and the foul. Season one of 13. He's only 22% on the year. Curry for three, oh. lasers at home. Steph has the new building high of 40. They obviously have not played with big leads all year. Curry little floater, he's got 42. <laughs> Seconds game shot clock to wind down this third. Steph, oh. step back three, yes Yo. sir! Oh, oh, oh. 45 for Curry. Oh my goodness, the dribble combinations. Best way to get a clean look with double teams having all that stuff. Sometimes it's 35 feet out. Ricochet to Steph. He just catches and launches a three. <laughs> like that. He's got 48. Gary Trent Jr. staying on top of Steph. Working with Wiseman. Little leaner push shot. He's got 50. I mean, Lillard and McCollum went for 54, but Steph went for 56 by himself. <laughs> Curry from <Stop>. deep. 59. <laughs> Why not? Man, Steph just... Steph is running into the front court. Draymond <laughs> finds him another it. three. Oh. Got it! 62! 62! And he actually surpasses his buddy, Clay Thompson. Team free throws, that's also a career best. Your mindset of attacking. We've seen you shoot threes your whole life, but really beautiful finishes and taking a lot of punishment tonight. Yeah, it's just kind of slowing down. Every game we're going to get better, and more so just seeing the pictures of how they want to defend us and, and me individually. And <laughs> Get him. Get him. <laughs> you see it? Yeah, he was ready for it, though. He wasn't even – he didn't jump or anything. He's That's that's how on fire he is. He can't even feel it. Um, I don't even know what I was saying, but just <laughs> shoot shots and – Make them, and then everything kind of opens up from there, just trying to get into the paint and make plays. Hey, Steph, are, are you almost looking forward to all the double teams and all the bodies you're going to see because of how you've mentally prepared and because of the way you can move without the ball after you give it up, you can get it back? Are you almost looking forward to seeing all those bodies? Not really. <laughs> but it's uh, as long as I can make the right decision and yeah. – um, you know, see the pictures, that's all it is. I mean, different shots from years past, and um, a lot of that is just not rushing. Even though there might be double teams and a crowd, I always have options to, you know, move it or get a shot or get to the basket. I just got to make sure I see everything right. And I think tonight we just slowed down a little bit, and it obviously worked out. All right, how aware are you of the point total that you had? I mean, you know 54 was the career high coming in when you get to that 40 spot and things like that or are, are you even aware of the numbers as they're piling up of course uh but you try to just continue to stay humble and stay in the moment um that's the the best way to approach it it doesn't help when your teammates are yelling at you every dead ball how many points you got um, <laughs> but other than that it's just don't do anything differently just keep uh keep being aggressive um being decisive and 
No good things happen. And now when you had 59 <laughs> and you were trailing Draymond for that last three, why do you got to do clay like that with his 60 <laughs> and, and go for 62 there? Killer instinct. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it made so much sense that it was Draymond uh, knowing exactly what the situation was and knowing where I was at. Uh, and for a hot second, I thought he wasn't going to look for me, but it, I shouldn't have never doubted it. He knew exactly where I was, and thankfully it went in. Did you talk about the way you attacked the rim? Obviously, Bob just talked about you getting to the free throw line, but you're finishing through contact or making sure you get the foul because you're jumping into the defender. You're not avoiding contact at all. Is that something you've thought about a lot during the offseason? A little bit, um, and again, it's kind of just understanding what the, circum the situation is or how yep. they're defending. Um, and, and when you have your, the, the right spacing and the right timing, your know, lanes open up, and then it's just all about finishing. I think you know, late in the first half, uh, there was a couple of plays where they sent a crowd, and I didn't read it right, so I tried to make those adjustments. Um, and like you said, it's just a matter of you know finishing with contact, being creative, or, or kicking it out. And you've been pumping iron, too, I see. <laughs> Got the arms, we had, I see. We had eight months. That's all I could do. Yeah, that's all you could do. <laughs> and Steph, we'll let you go with this. You had a nice conversation with Damian Lillard at the end. His career best 61 came against the Dubs. Your career best 62 comes against the Blazers. Uh, sign me up for Lillard Curry all night long. I mean, you two are just wonderful to watch, and I know there's always kind of the game within the game too. I mean, it's all. I, got, I said it before Friday's game. It's always uh, you know the, the best guys in the league, especially at the point guard position, bring the best out of you. And um, if you're around this league long enough, you kind of get to see every kind of scenario and situation. And um, you know, we have a lot to fight for and a huge challenge in front of us there, you know, the established team now. So uh, for a guy like him, uh, like I said, it always just brings the best out of you. And I love the competition. Um, and that's kind of kind of what it is. Bro, you got a high audacity level. Is there any point in the season where at 18 seconds left on shot clock, you'll pull up from half court? Is that something that's maybe going to happen? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steph. Thanks for stopping, man. We appreciate it. Appreciate you. Congratulations.